Welcome back everyone. It feels like it's been a while since I've done a real video like this, but today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this Hatsune Miku figure. I ordered this from Otaku Mode probably sometime last year and it has been on a mess of delays. One thing's for sure is I will not be ordering from Tokyo Otaku Mode anymore, but I am glad that I finally received her. I was considering buying her from other websites, but I figured let's just wait. If they cancel my order, I'll at least get a refund and if not, I'll get the figure. So she arrived about two days ago and she came in a box with, um, similar to how Amiyami packages things, the box itself was a nice size for her. There was, it was small enough for her to be in there with a little bit of space. They wrapped her in bubble wrap as well as paper, similar to how Amiyami does it. Um, and it came with a small flyer. This is the flyer it came with. Very cute, but you know, this is probably their mascot. And then it has advertisement, obviously. And then an invoice as well. So this is the Hatsune Miku villain version noodle stopper figure. So this is a figure that you were you were supposed to use to put on the top of your ramen cups as a like a noodle stopper um, just to keep the steam in once you put the hot water in. And you know that's a cute idea. I've seen these around for years. They they're not you know a new concept. Lots of figures like this exist, but you know. They seemed a bit too small for the price that they would be asking for, so I never bothered to get one. But the design of this one was just so cute, and I've never been this uh, attracted to a Hatsune Miku figure before. Some of them are really nice, but just they wouldn't fit in my collection. But this one looks so cute. So, oh, it's taped up here. Thankfully, I have scissors in the drawer next to me. Normally, I like to open them from the bottom, but I think it would be a lot messier to do that with this box. So she's a small size, obviously. Her box is uh, a small size as well. She's probably not going to be a very big figure, considering what she is meant to do. Oh, she has tape on the sides as well. God, I'm stupid. It might have been easier to open her from the bottom, but that's fine. I don't plan on selling her. She's really cute, unless she's garbage. Her quality, because um, she was released before. That's why a lot of people have, were upset with how long she took to get to them. She was released last year, if not the year before, and the second batch just took forever after pre-orders were opened. And there were many delays. Oh, she is so cute. There's some tape on the sides as well. There is. There she is in all her glory. Oh my goodness, she is beautiful, actually. You know, for being small, she is a pretty decent size. I thought she would be a lot smaller. But it's kind of cute that you can just hold her, and she's obviously in a sitting pose. I wanted to do the, um, the 360 turnaround with the little motor I have, but I don't know if I have anything this small to have her sit on so you could see her. Wow. She's really cool, actually. A lot of complaints were with her face. I think she looks fine. Let me get a bit closer so y'all can see. But apologies for my chickens. But honestly, I think her face, her face looks really good. And the paint job, it, with how small it is, it looks really good as well. I love the folds in her skirt and the tears. Her little anklet is really nice. God, I love the color of her purple. Like, this shade of purple is gorgeous. There are variants now. I believe one um, is just completely red, and then the other one, um, I, I think she's a little more teal. Or the purple's a lot redder in shade, but it still does this gradient on her arm coverings. And she has some lace at the bottom of them, too. And her nails are painted. Wow. I'm assuming they made use of the complaints the first batch around because she is gorgeous. 
I really love her. Wow. The one time this black backdrop does not work for me. <laughs> but I hope you guys can see the details. Look, her tail is so cool. And obviously the bottom is flat so she can sit down. But I like that they still sculpted her tail coming out from under there. And then her skirt rising to it. It's just super cool. I really love this. Um, she was about $20, not including shipping, but I did receive a discount for signing up for the first time uh, with Tokyo Otaku Mode. So I think I got her for maybe $19 in total, and that included shipping. So I think I got a really good deal on her. <laughs> um, let's just talk about her hair. She is really pretty. Oh, I do see one mistake here. That kind of just looks like the way they made the figure um, and had the parts come together. Like, there's a seam line right there. Yeah, it kind of just looks like the way they sculpted the figure because it's on her other pigtail as well. You can kind of see a very small seam line. I love the design of her hair in the back, and she's got this um choker that extends to one of those frilly apron looking things i don't know what they're called officially the bows in her hair and her horns oh i just love everything about her oh my goodness she's so different too from this typical miku figure that i think i could probably just pretend this isn't miku like if you painted her hair something else you wouldn't even tell so from the side, her face does look a little wonky, but she's still really pretty. I love her. Honestly, my only complaint with figures um, nowadays, especially for girls, is that from the front, because they don't pronounce their noses too much anymore, it just looks a little weird. <laughs> like, her nose is so flat. She looks like a chipmunk. But again, she's still really cute. And I love all the details in her hair. My DSLR was a lot better with capturing really close-up shots of figures, um, but I'm trying my best to get this thing to focus. Hopefully y'all can see all the details. She's beautiful. I love her. Like, look at that. Look at the shoes. Super pretty. Oh, she's got gems on the back of her dress, too. Just so much goodness with this figure. I love it. She was worth the wait. One more good shot of her face. Just really pretty. And because I haven't been buying a lot of anime recently, um, I'm just going to include the ones that I've gotten recently, or in the past few months, in this figure review. So the first one I have is Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 4. I was expecting a better sale with Right Stuff this year, but COVID may have, um, you know, messed up their profits. So I haven't really noticed that they've been doing mega sales like they usually do per year. Um, so I'm probably not going to buy too much and you, you won't get any um, big hauls from me. Um, but Volume 4 was out of stock for so long, it took them months to get this to me, but I'm happy that they finally did, and I made sure to check that the spine was good. So I'm finally happy to have Volume 4 with Gojo on the cover. Next, I got, in addition to that, I also received Nichijo, the complete series. I love the series, and this is the updated copy with the English dub, which is a recent development. It did, before it was just um, uh, Japanese, but they recently did a dub. And for this type of series, I definitely think a dub helps because you can enjoy the animation and the comedy, which is really, really good in this show, a lot better that way without having to read the subtitles. So this is called My Ordinary Life in English, but I just, I've always known it as Nichijou. I do apologize. I just realized I opened Bell, but not Nichijo. So inside, um, it's actually pretty interesting. In addition to the, I'm trying to do this with one hand, in addition to the Funimation flyer that has a digital code you can use, um, it has a slipcover on the back. So it has four discs, I believe. Let me see if I can unclip these. They're kind of clipped in there. So there's four. They're all pink like this. But there is a back cover. If I can get it out without damaging anything. 
But here's the back cover. It's really cute. Really cute. And you can flip this um, to the other side. So if you want this to be your cover instead of this, which I might do actually. It looks a lot cuter. But there's that. And that was out of stock for a long time as well. And it arrived with Gojo. The next thing I have, I recently bought this a couple days ago. This is Belle, the animated movie. I went to see this in theaters and it was beautiful. I listened to the soundtrack constantly. Um, the only problem I really had with it was the ending. A lot of people praised it or the movie overall, which is fine, but I felt like the ending had a lot to be desired. It didn't feel complete. It just kind of made me roll my eyes. Well, not roll my eyes. My eyebrow lifted. Like, was that it? <laughs> but overall, I did really enjoy the movie. The animation is gorgeous. Um, the only, I think the only gripe I had with the animation was that the virtual world wasn't as pretty to look at. Um, at least in a way that made sense to me as it did in Summer Wars, which was another movie this director did. But I got this from Walmart, I think. No, I bought this from Amazon. It's also available at Walmart, but every Walmart I went to had it sold out. So I just went ahead and got it off Amazon. Um, so nice and clean Blu-ray copy. And then the standard DVD. And this is but released by G-Kids. And they did a really good job. The dub includes all the singing. The singer they got for this movie is astounding. She is amazing at, in the role as Belle. And again, really loved it. It's a good watch. Entertaining watch. And that is it for this anime haul. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, it might be a while until I have another anime haul just because I haven't been buying it a lot. I also just noticed they, uh, they have a spelling error on the cover of this figure. That's really funny. Um, wow, that figure has a lot of problems. <laughs> um, but overall, I do enjoy everything that I got in this small little haul and that I've obtained. So all of the anime and manga I received from Right Stuff Anime. With the exception of Belle, I bought her on Amazon, but you can buy her on uh, Right Stuff as well and Walmart. The Noodle Stopper figure I received from Tokyo Takumode. Once again, I am probably never going to buy another figure from them again. I actually have two on the way that I had assumed were the ones that I received in the package when it arrived because they didn't tell me that they had shipped out Miku at all. The whole system they have set up is a bit confusing and just a lot of hassle to deal with. So I'm never going to buy from them again. Their delays are ridiculous. I understand COVID has delayed a lot of figure uh, companies from producing the amount that they want and there's been a lot of delays delays on pre-orders as well as released figures but this is ridiculous if you can find the figure you want secondhand or from someone who already has it in their hands i would recommend that or from local shop there's a lot of shops now opening up in the united states that are local i have one near me i haven't checked their prices but i know there's at least two at the mall as well if you don't have one near you i understand but if you have them available it might just be best to go with that because shipping prices from what i've seen have also gone up as well significantly and there's not as many options. But once again, this is all that, that I have and I do enjoy everything that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will make sure to link everything in the description, including Miku, um, although I would recommend finding her from other websites. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.